Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading, wow, for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Let's see what's going on for you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio. I do appreciate it. What's going on, Scorpio? All right, so we have the Three of Swords. We have the Star the five of wands and the hanged man hmm okay they're saying that this is a precursor for what is to come which tells me that you may be going through this right now so you may be healing over something but it's it's transforming you you may have this internal battle going on, but it's leading you to a state of enlightenment here with the hanged man. Let's see what the Three of Swords is about. There may have been an end to a situation, Scorpio. This could be a, a relationship of any kind. It doesn't just need to be romantic, right? So we have the Page of Wands. All right, they're showing me the snap of a finger. So I feel like there's some sort of good news that's going to snap you out of this state. And this could just be too, if you're not going through anything in particular, like a state of depression, sadness, but something is going to snap you out of it. It could be a message, the devil, could be a message from a Capricorn the King of Pentacles, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like whatever this depression is, this sadness is, this good news, this message is going to break you free from this state. It's like the devil talks about feeling chained to something that doesn't serve our higher purpose, right? And we always feel chained, uh, at least I do, when I'm in a state of depression, right? Uh, you, you feel chained to whatever it is that, you know, that has you down. It's almost like getting into a rut, right? I feel like this snaps you out of this rut. It could also be good news about work with the King of Pentacles here. But I feel like it's more good news or a message. Tell me about this star card. What is this star card? So this may be something that you've wished for. Yeah, this is a major turn of events here. This is the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to begin to turn around, Scorpio. So if you've been feeling sad, if you've been feeling, yep, see? this, it, it, That's why they're doing that. Because I feel like this is going to take you by surprise. This is happening to a lot of people where their worlds are changing in a second. But I, I feel like it, your world, right, is this state of being and you're snapping, you're being snapped out of it. What is this tower? The hermits. Yeah, so you may have been in this place or space of seclusion within the self, really going within, possibly doing shadow work. But sometimes, sometimes we have to be careful about doing work like shadow work because it can, it can veer us off into a space of sadness depression if we're think if we're overthinking things clarify this tower it could even be that this person this message coming in may be from somebody that's been in this hermit mode nine of swords yeah, there's been a lot of anxiety and fear surrounding this situation. It, and I'm feeling it could even be from this person. So while you're feeling sadness, right? And they didn't say anything about this. While you're feeling sadness, it's like they're feeling anxiety and fear about the situation. Why anxiety? Let's see why. Why anxiousness? 
strength yeah they're trying it's like trying to find the strength to speak to you about this anxiety about perhaps the shadow elements that they're walking away from the the deep inner work that they've been doing it's almost like you're marrying each other tell me about the five of wands this is though scorpio resulting in a major transformation here which is beautiful the eight of pentacles so you're both coming together here you're communicating i feel about the, this deep transformative process that you both have been going through differently but there are some common threads between you the king of wands yeah so this is going to make you feel very very confident confident in the situation confident in yourself it's going to sort of inject you with a lot of energy and this energy you're going to be utilizing to manifest yeah it's what you've been waiting for so this could be somebody at a distance but whatever this is it's what you've been waiting for tell me about the hanged man the hanged man is waiting too so this has been guided by the angels here this is something's being created out of this this could be love if this is a romantic seven of pentacles i feel like your patience will pay off all right because we do have patience with the three of wands the seven of pentacles and in even temperance so how does this person feel about scorpio romantically let's see the sun this is the happiest card in the deck, Scorpio. So they feel very happy, very bright, very optimistic about you, about this potential situation. How else do they feel about Scorpio? Wow. See, you're showing up as the King of Wands. They're showing up as the Queen of Wands. So this is a divine partnership here. I feel like it's not just like this happened just like that. This is a process. So it's not going to happen just like that either. Now the snapping out of it, that's going to happen just like that. But that's going to begin a very, very transformative process within you, within them, and then within the both, within both of you. So what is your um, feelings towards this person, romantically speaking? The queen of swords so you may be a little hesitant at first because you're seeking communication you're seeking truth you're trying to utilize your intuition as well or you may feel like this person was cold possibly uh, king of cups yeah so you have a lot of love for this person your intuition is telling you possibly that this person is the one but i feel like there's a lot of questions here as well that you have of this person for whatever yeah see ace of swords that's why i say this is going to be a gradual process this isn't going to be overnight but it is going to be worth it because you have the sun here i feel like more patience may be needed in this situation but it will pay off in the end so what is your <laughs> advice eight of wands get excited about this go towards your passion um your passions do things that are creative and this is even aside from this connection from this partnership because this is going to only fuel your energy in a positive way okay which will then fuel the connection in a positive way so they want you to be creative they want you to be passionate and they want you to rush forward into whatever it is that lights you up scorpio all right so let's get an oracle card for you so what advice do you have for scorpio here regarding this spread what advice do you have for scorpio oops you have let go what if anything can be done to let go of what is standing in your way think about that i don't feel like this is going to be a huge issue but if this snapping out has not occurred yet, maybe this is something to think about, okay, to, to ease your 
sadness at this point, your pain, okay? What can you let go of? Even if it's something small, it's a step in the right direction. And intuition. Allow the limitless power of your unconscious mind to answer your problem by using symbols, memories, and hunches, okay? So ask your intuition a question, Scorpio, before you go into a state of meditation. And keep asking that question in that state. Make sure you're in that peaceful state, you're in a calm state. Not, don't come from a place of anxiousness. Try to become calm first, ask the questions, and then allow the energy to come in and to show up and answer your question in a way that's meant just for you. All right, Scorpio, if you're interested in a personal reading, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. That way it's specific to your energy and your questions and what's going on in your life. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Don't forget to also subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the... Um, where I channel nature. Sorry, I was just thinking what signs did I just do in nature and that would be uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So that is posted if you want to check that out. You have yourself a great day and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste Scorpio.